Within a page, you can employ certain block types to make information easier to find. In this lesson, we'll talk about how you can connect information at a more granular level to make a truly interconnected web of knowledge. These blocks include things like headings and visuals, toggles, callouts, table of contents, and more. Each of these can help you draw attention to the most important content on any given page and bring ideas from one doc to another. For starters, let's consider sync blocks. In Notion, sync blocks are synced copies of blocks. A change in one location will be reflected everywhere that you have that block synced. So if you copy text on one page, you can use the paste a sync block to keep the same text up to date in another place. As a concept, these date back to the 1960s when computing pioneer Ted Nelson wrote about something he called transclusion, or the idea that part of one thing is included in another and brought from the original. Use them to share your team or company's mission statement, remind your team of upcoming events in multiple places, pull in engineering overviews into a go-to-market launch plan, or even track action items across multiple docs. Next up, page mentions. When you want to link to context, but not display it in its entirety, you can mention another page by simply typing at, followed by the page's name. This creates a quick link to the other doc, which enables two things, a rich preview of that doc's content and a backlink on the other doc to help you navigate to related or connected thoughts more easily. Finally, when you can't capture it in Notion, Use link previews and embeds to connect information from other tools. More on that in our Using Data course. Back in Acme, let's take a look at how these might all come together to form a project proposal for a performance marketing campaign that runs on YouTube. To start, let's create a section for context using a heading and utilize page mentions to link to past experiments. Here, we'll list all the things that inform this project, like this YouTube campaign from 2022, and others. Then we can pull in a sync block from our H1 company objectives to further establish why this campaign matters, to increase awareness about Acme's product offering. Bringing the text in like this draws attention to the most important piece of context there is in our doc. Finally, we may choose to embed a previous ad example directly from YouTube here as well. As a doc creator, we finish this crucial work in seconds. For the end reader, it's now easier to get a high-level overview of the project and explore details at whatever level of granularity they feel they need. As you start adding content to your workspace, keep exploring the power of sync blocks, backlinks, and link previews to create a web of knowledge. Happy connecting.